Stitch Cutie, it's time to make our Wanda Witch with our embroidery machine for the YouTube. Are you so excited? I know I am. So let's talk about what you need to have to get started. So you'll have all your pre-fused laser cut applique pieces from your kit. I've gone on and peeled the backing off all my pieces and I have them in a nice little pile. Then of course you have your fabrics that come in your kit, these really cute border fabrics for your block. You have your fabric for the block, which we're gonna press in just a moment. And then we have our Sulky 48 Rayon Threads. And the colors we're using this month out of our thread kit, we have Sulky 1001, the white. Then we have Black 1005, the Avocado 1177, our Medium Tawny Tan, which is 1056, our True Orange, which is 1168, Butterfly Gold 0567, AKA yellow. <laughs> And then this beautiful light purple lavender color, 1254. What a perfect match that is. So what you're gonna do first is load that white thread in your machine. You're gonna load the file for your Wanda Witch U Troop, and let's get started. So while the machine is stitching our very first placement line, I am going to lightly starch my background fabric and give it a nice press. So you just wanna press it till it's dry. And again, you wanna be consistent with the amount of starch that you're using throughout your entire project. So don't midway through, you know, start using a ton or not use it at all. Just be consistent throughout the whole project. And I just wait till it dries. So what we're gonna do when this is all dry is fold it in half and then in quarters. And that is going to give us a nice guide for putting it on our hoop. So. And one thing I didn't mention at the beginning, some of my favorite tools that I always have with me, of course, you can see right now I'm using my Steam Fast Travel Iron and I'm using that on top of my Steady Betty. Below that, I have my applique glass mat, my light pad, and of course the cutting mat that comes with my light pad. And then I like to have my rotary cutter, my Karen K. Buckley scissors, and of course a ruler. So now that this is nice and pressed dry, we're gonna fold it in half right sides together. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect because we're gonna trim a bunch off, don't worry. And then what I'm gonna do is just gently press that little fold. And now what stitch with that first step in your hoop is a T right in the center. So as always, I'm just gonna put my hoop right on top of my steady Betty. And then the two folded edges, we're gonna learn line up with one of the sides of your T. And you're gonna open it one time this way. And of course, one more time this way. Now I am gonna give it a press to get rid of that T in the center. And then what we're gonna do is tape it into place. Now you'll remember I love to use this 3M transport tape. Let me show you right inside there. You can just order it from Amazon. You get like six or 12 rolls or something for like 10, 20 bucks, it's not much. And it lasts a really long time. So I'm just taping this in place. We're gonna use white thread for the first several, several steps. And the first thing that the machine is gonna do for us now when we put this back on is give us several applique outlines. So it's gonna give us a couple pieces of our um, pumpkin outfit on our witch and on our Wanda witch. And it's also gonna give us some of the bottom pieces. All right, so take a look. This is what we have on our hoop. Now there's several areas of over and underlap. So you wanna make sure that you pay attention to your piece numbers. And you can also follow along with me here in the video. So the first piece that we're gonna put on is our cute little spider over here. Just put this right in place. And y'all, I've already broken a nail while I'm filming. I'm so sorry. <laughs> then we're gonna put our lime green piece in place. And you're just gonna make sure that it fits all the way across. There we go, perfect fit. Give that a little press. And if you have a piece where you feel like you didn't get it quite lined up right, while it's still hot, just very gently give it a little, a little poke. Be really careful, don't cut your fabric. But there we go, then you make sure it's nice and lined up. Now we're going to put down the little pumpkin stem down here. There we go, give that a little press. And now, our little pumpkin. Aren't these the cutest fabrics? It's the Pixies, like always, in the in the U-Troop. They're just really fun. There we go. Now we're gonna put our stem at the top 
on our Wanda Witch. That's the name of this you troop this month. And then we'll put on our left pumpkin piece. And with a big piece like this, of course, just make sure you have it lined up all the way in place and then just work your way up. And then we'll have the right side of our Wanda Witch right in place. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be really cute. I'm loving this orange, the shades of orange on this lavender purple, aren't you? It's really pretty. There we go. So now we're gonna keep the white thread on for the next step. We put this back on and the machine is going to give us an outline of an accent piece on our pumpkin, the two shoes for Wanda Witch, and then one piece of our pumpkin. Okay, so now you have your second round of applique outlines. It's time to iron on your pieces again and do realize that there's a couple areas of overlap again. So what we're gonna start with is the cute little accent on our little baby pumpkin right here. Put that right in place. Then we're gonna iron both of her shoes on, her little witch shoes, because you know she's dressed up for Halloween, this little Wanda witch. So let's get one shoe in place. And again, when you have pieces that have like little angles and lots of little, little stuffs, so make sure you get it nice and lined up. And then her little shoe right here. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. <laughs> And now we have a piece of our Wanda right here. All right, and that's nice and lined up. Give this a little press. And again, keep the white thread on for the next step and the machine is gonna give us a few more applique outlines. Okay, so we have three easy pieces to put in place. Nothing overlaps or underlaps. So it makes it really easy just to put our pieces in place. So we have two little yellow stripes for her boots. Do notice that the shoe on the left, or rather the bottom of the screen for you, is a little bit narrower and longer than the other stripes. So make sure you have those little yellow pieces in the right spot. And then of course the final piece of her body. And then in the next step, what we're gonna do is start building her little face with her hat. It'll be fun. So give this a press. These are just the, like, I love these shades of orange and peach together like this. There we go. Now it's time to put your Wanda Witch back on for the next step. All right, it's time to bring our girl to life. Give her a face, I'm excited. So the hat and the face do overlap, so you wanna make sure that you put her face on first. So I'm just gonna get this nicely lined up everywhere and give her a little press. There we go. Now we'll take the little lime green top of her hat, put this right there. And then of course the star. The star is really easy to tell which way it goes because it definitely has a pretty distinct shape. So we'll get that right in place where it goes. There we go. So now we have just one more round of applique outlines and that's gonna be for the purple stripes on her hat. All right, very last applique outlines, easy as pie to put on. So we'll put our little, it doesn't matter which of the three purple stripes you put on first because they're all the same layer. They don't overlap at all. So again, with a long piece, just start at one end, and make sure you stay in those guide marks as you work your way over. And then we have our two little stripes on our hat. So now for the next steps, I'm gonna take my hoop on and off the machine simply so I can show you what is stitching, what's about to stitch, and talk about the color changes that we're doing. However, at home on your embroidery machine, you don't need to take your hoop on and off at all. All right, so here we go. Now, we're not gonna do a thread change just yet. We're actually gonna keep that white on for one more step because the machine is gonna give us little eyes and then her happy little smile, and then of course some little eyeballs on our spider. Oh my goodness, how cute is she? She came to life, she has a smile and our little spider has some eyes. So you do wanna just trim that little bitty stitch between your eyes. So just take your Karen K Buckley, these are really nice sharp scissors. I like these cause they're sharp all the way to the tip. And I'm just gonna give a little trim on both pieces of thread. And when you do that, if you ever have little 
stray threads, right? All you do is just take a piece of tape like a lint roller. There you go. Look at that, it looks so good. So now we're going to do our first color change and that is to black. And the machine is going to do a lovely buttonhole stitch on our boots. It's gonna stitch around our um, little Wanda Witch's face. And of course, it's gonna give some spider legs and stitching on our spider. Alrighty, take a look. All your black is stitched now. My goodness, so cute. So now we're going to load the avocado, the 1177, and you guessed it, the machine is gonna do a buttonhole stitch on the green part of Wanda's hat, and of course, on her little base. Alrighty, so now all of your avocado is stitched, so it's time to put on our 1056, this tawny tan. And fun thing about this, this lighter orange, the kind of peach color, is also going to be stitched with this brown. So you're gonna have those colors, and then of course the brown stem stitched right now. Check out Wanda, she's looking good, isn't she? So now it's time to load 1168, the true orange, and the machine is now gonna do the orange on the center of Wanda's body and of course the little pumpkin down here. Alrighty, take a look, only two more color changes. She's almost done. So now we're gonna load the 0567 and the machine is going to do a straight stitch on all three of your yellow pieces. Alrighty, now the yellow is stitched. Doesn't that look so good? I love it. Now it is time for our last thread color to be loaded to our machine and that is 1254, this beautiful purple that's gonna stitch the very last three pieces on your Wanda Witch. Alrighty, your Wanda Witch is all done. Isn't she adorable? So now it's time to go to your printed pattern that comes in your kit. What you're gonna do is take this out of the hoop, remove your stabilizer, trim your block as it says in the pattern, and then you're going to starch and cut your four border fabrics and assemble the border around your Wanda Witch block. And then next month is a fun little um, turkey witch or turkey sheep, which is gonna be really fun to stitch. All right, thanks for being a member of the YouTube and happy stitching.